just discovered Kindle. Okay. For those of you who don't know what Kindle is, right, it combines your computer with with reading. Like, it's brilliant. And there's like, it's just amazing. Okay. So, okay, a Kindle is supposed to be like this little ebook reader thing that you go and get. And you can download a lot of books and, you know, you can textbooks or whatever you fancy putting on your little Kindle. Um, however, I'm too cheap to buy one. Um, I'm a student, I have no money. Um, instead, I've downloaded the Kindle app for Mac, okay? Because I have a Mac, because they're awesome. And basically, uh, I just download all these books to this application. And like, you can go and buy them, right? Like these books, or there's a load of free ones. So you can download all these free books and like just read them on your computer. It's great. Um, like, and, and when you do buy books, you can buy them for like 70p. And like, I think the most expensive book that I looked at that I thought, yeah, I get that, was worth three quid. Seriously. Like, Amazon is amazing. Oh yeah, did I forget to tell you it was by Amazon? It's by Amazon. The, the people who bring the bounty of cheap books to us, you know, along with along with computer games and DVDs. The people that just make my life complete. I think if I didn't have an Amazon account, I would die inside. Yeah, I'm really sad. It's got to the point now where, you know, every time I get an Amazon package delivered into college, Reporters tell me off. They think I spend too much money on Amazon. But if there was such a thing as like Amazon like club card points, I would have like a complete free rock band by now. Like with all the instruments and every guitar hero game ever invented. That's how many points I would have by now. Fact. But yeah, so this Kindle app, I'm loving it. It's on all, all these free books. Like, like some really geeky thing that I've downloaded. Like The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Okay, nobody else, like, I'm probably never going to read it either, to be honest. If I'm completely honest, I'm probably never going to read it. But it's sitting there and I feel really cool knowing I have it. Yeah, I know, I'm sad. It's really genuinely quite interesting and quite exciting books um, which I'm really looking forward to reading um, as well as some that was like why not let's have that it's free why not I, I think there's this thing now where like it looks like a lot of authors especially kind of first time authors are putting the first book of a series onto Amazon like as a Kindle as a Kindle option on Amazon for free so that you read it, and then if you enjoy it, then you can go and buy the next ones, which is quite a good idea. Like I, I that's 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 quite clever. Um, it means that you you're gonna have people who are gonna be like, right, free book, why not? And that, which is basically the internet community. I mean, let's face it, we all like something for free. We've all probably illegally downloaded, you know, music and films and everything, you know. I once got caught as well. Don't don't get caught. Don't do it. But don't get caught. But so this idea of of giving away your first book for free, getting people interested in your work, is a really good idea. Because who's going to say no to a free book? You read it, you enjoy it, you go, okay, yeah, I'll go get the sequel. Why not? Or okay, I'll I'll buy some more books by you. Why not? I think it's a really good idea, whoever came up with it should get a genius award. And if I'm honest, I would I would probably tell musicians to go out and do this as well. It would solve, or it wouldn't solve, it would go a step towards solving this whole big music industry bust up about illegal downloading. because. If you really enjoy a song by a particular band that you can get for free, then wouldn't you go and think about buying the album if you if you really like them? 
I think if iTunes, if iTunes was really thinking, they would get sussed with the, the artists and the rest of the music industry and have one song on each album free. Right? You buy that song, listen to it, yeah, that's pretty good. Buy the rest of the album. See, if I was running the world, life would just be so much better, wouldn't it?